According to the certified primary election results issued by the Board of Elections, only 29 percent of eligible voters participated in the St. Thomas-St. John District, whether by going to the polls or voting by paper ballot, compared to just 17 percent in the St. Croix District. A side-by-side -side look at the numbers shows participation in the 2012 primaries was about half the participation of the 2010 primaries. And the low voter participation is a factor in the upcoming general election, as Virgin Islands code mandates that if a registered voter does not participate in two consecutive elections, that voter's registration is canceled and he or she must re-register to vote in any future election. But before that cancellation, we send out a notice alerting the person that they're about to be canceled. Sometimes we call the persons because we might know them and probably they forgot or whatever and alert them that they will be canceled. Once a voter registration has been canceled, that person must register to vote all over again. Although there is no cost to do so, there is limited time left. Sunday from 9 to 2 here at the election system, we're having voters registration. This is your last chance so you can vote in the general election. And the list of drop voters is public information. The St. Croix list has circulated recently on Facebook, but the links on the vivote.gov website are currently down. Now, if you think you may have been dropped from the voter rolls but have not received a notification from the Board of Elections, you should either call or visit the elections office in your district before the Sunday deadline. For News 2, I'm Erica Bivens.